So I'm in this temperate grassland ecosystem and this area behind me here has all been grazed fairly heavily by livestock over the past 150 years. And you can see we've got quite a bit of big sagebrush, which is a native plant here, but water is very scarce in these ecosystems and big sagebrush competes heavily with blue bunch wheatgrass, rough fescue, a bunch of other native grasses here. And as those grasses are grazed heavily, especially in the springtime, they're weakened and they become more susceptible to take over by sagebrush. But then I've got this interesting little fence line here and this plot of land that has been closed off from grazing for about a hundred years. And take a look at the difference. There's virtually no sagebrush just a little here some alfalfa coming in but that's an invasive thing whole other thing but overall we've got a lot of blue bunch wheatgrass that fescue all sorts of native grasses here doing much better than in this grazed area so it's an interesting look at how grazing actually affects these landscapes now they've since reduced grazing here to be one month every three years which is much better and um, I'm sure we're gonna see the results of that in the future but just uh, an interesting look at the lasting impact of livestock upon our landscapes and how they've altered in just a short 150 year time frame pretty wild